Hi guys, my name is Sammy and today we're going to talk about the Pythagorean Theorem and its connection to the ancient Egyptians. First off, we're going to talk a little about the background of this topic. The Pythagorean Theorem refers to the right triangle. So we know that the Pythagorean Theorem equation is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. c is known as the longest side of the triangle, or the hypotenuse. The Pythagorean Theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other sides. Most people believe that Pythagoras from Greece invented this equation. Pythagoras did much traveling in Egypt and did a lot of learning. He believed that number rules the universe, but we're not going to go into his beliefs and such. He and his group, the Pythagoreans, hence the name, wrote many geometric proofs. There are different opinions on who came up with this theorem, but there is proof that the ancient Egyptians used it. How, you ask? Well, they used it to construct one of their most amazing structures, pyramids. The Egyptians did not yet develop a formula for the relationship between the sides of a right triangle. They also did not develop the concept of variable yet, so they used whole number ratios instead. They used ropes to measure the constructions and distances. This video shows you a 3 to 4 to 5 right triangle being formed with knots and ropes. So this here is a right triangle. Each black dot on the paper represents one knot in the rope. As you can see, the hypotenuse, the longest side, has five knots in the rope. The shortest side has three knots, and the medium side has four knots. So you, now you have your 3 to 4 to 5 ratio displayed. So now I'm going to show you how you can use the number of knots in the rope to plug it into the Pythagorean Theorem. So, we have 10 knots on the hypotenuse, 8 knots on the medium length, and then we have 6 knots on the shortest side. So now we're going to plug in the numbers. So A, as we equal equals 6, so it's 6 square plus 8 square equals 10 square. 6 times 6 is 36, plus 8 times 8 is 64, equals 10 times 10 equals 100. 36 plus 64 is 100, and therefore this is a right triangle. 100 equals 100. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed my video.